in the rock of Jesus Christ. In other words, our value and kingdom culture. But you know what? The Lord is aware of what's taking place. And I want to submit this to you, that Jesus is not going to return. And I believe he's going to return, but he's not going to return for a defeated church and the defeated people. But our God is equipping you and I, the born again believer, to come out of darkness, come into his life, and be all that he's called us to be and make a difference. We are not going to go out in defeat. We are not going to go down uh, in the smoldering umbers of the Islamic radical terrorism. Folks, let me tell you something. Jesus Christ said, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. And he's building your life, he's building my life. He does it with the word of God. He gives us his authority. He gives us a place of spiritual jurisdiction. And he anoints us with his grace so that we can live in a victory. We can have a victorious Christian life. Hallelujah. That's the king that we serve. So when the apostles sent a letter, he sent a letter to let them know that all things were created by God and for God, whether they be visible or invisible in heaven or in earth, all things were created by him and for him. Thrones are dominions, are principalities, are powers. All things were created by him and for him. Our God will not leave us or forsake us. He said, I'll, I'll be with you even to the end of the age. Now here's what I want you to understand. Not only do you have a have you been called out of slavery and bondage to other philosophies, principalities and powers, all sorts of antichrist spirits, but God has given you a position over them. There's a principle in the word that says that the lower should always submit to the higher. In other words, God has given you authority over. We're going to talk about that when we come back for our break. But I'm telling you what, the anointing is here today. God wants to do something powerful in your life. He created you for a purpose. He's given you authority. He's broken the slavery and the bondage of your past. And what God wants to do now is anoint you for your future. And I tell you what, you're watching the right program at the right time. You're serving the right God. And today is your day of breakthrough because the Spirit of God is here to help give you a revelation of who you are and your purpose because God got a plan for your life. Stay with me. I'll be right back.
Find it here at Spirit of Life Church. Well, God bless you. Thank you so much for praying and considering about becoming a partner with us. I want to also remind you of the Voice Magazine. Go to www.thevoicemagazine.com, and that's when I get a, a chance to um, to really talk to you about some of the uh, in depth more about the things that God is saying, and also there's many other writers that write for us at the Voice Magazine, and I encourage you to go online www.thevoicemagazine.com and uh, get you pick yourself up an issue of it. Hallelujah! You know it's important for us. You know, uh, let me share this with you. A long time ago, um, the Lord gave me a revelation of what I I refer to as the five stages of the apostolic church. And, and let me, and, and this affects you as a believer because there, there are there are basically five stages for your development. The first one was the uh, the uh, whenever God calls you to do something, that's that's that territorial entrance stage when God first first calls you to do something. And boy, I tell you what, it seems like there's a war when that takes place. And uh, at that particular time, you've got to be strong in the Lord and the power of His mind to push back those opposing forces that try to stop you from doing what God's called you to do. Uh, the next thing is that pioneering stage, and many times, you know, uh, you can recognize who the pioneers are because of all the things that are happening around them, the warfare that's happening. But see, that pioneering stage is a great stage, and that's when you really need to learn about your spiritual warfare, your, the weapons that God has given you for victory. And then the third stage is the building stage, and of course, this is the fourth stage um, is the voice stage. Now, John the Baptist was um, was exercising that voice stage because he said that he was the voice crying in the wilderness, make straight a highway for our God. So we must enter that voice stage, that voice stage in entertainment, in the arts, in education, the political realm, uh, the religious realm, all of the finance realm, all of these realms, we need the voice of Almighty God because we need to speak into those those arenas, those marketplaces of ideas with what the Word of God has to say about those things. And of course, then of course, the fifth stage will be the dominion stage or the place of spiritual maturity and governing, okay? And so, what I encourage you to do is go to the voicemagazine.com and get you a copy of it and spread the word. Amen. Let's get that voice out there. Now, we've been talking about how Jesus has created all things in heaven and earth, visible and invisible, whether they be 
thrones, dominions, principalities, powers, all things were created by him and for him. Now, here's the thing which I love so much. Jesus, oh, I'm going to shock you with this, but please stay with me, okay? Stay with me on this, and don't, don't, don't touch the dial. Let me say something a little provoking, okay? Jesus wants 